All right, it's an exciting week for fifth round rookie Sam Howell. You're starting mm-hmm. at quarterback in the NFL against the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. How you feeling? Uh, it's, it's a dream come true, man. Um, you know, this is what I've worked my whole entire life for. Um, and, you know, I've just I've spent my whole life trying to get to this point. Um, and so I'm super excited. You know, when Coach Rivera gave me the news yesterday that I'd get to start this weekend. And it's what I've been waiting for. Um, and I feel like I've come a long way since I've gotten here. Um, and, I, and I feel like I'm ready for it. What was it like when Coach let you know? Uh, did he call you in his office? Did he grab you in the mm-hmm. locker room on the practice field? What was it? Yeah, he uh, he just called me into his office, um, and he and he just gave me the news. Told me he's gonna give me my first start this weekend, and you know I was just super excited, uh, you know. But I, I really don't think it'll hit me until I you know run out there on Sunday. Um, but you know I'm excited for it. It'll be a lot of fun. What'd you do when you got? You call your mom, call your dad, call. Um, or did you have to get out to practice? Like what was the timeline? Yeah. Uh, well, really, I had to. Uh, you know, we were getting ready for practice, um, but, you know, everyone kind of had a feeling I might have the chance to play some this sure. week. Um, and, and so I really didn't tell anybody. I, I, I wanted everybody just to uh, – I was going to tell everybody after practice, but I think they put it out probably before I even got to my phone. Um, so right when I got, got out from practice, uh, my phone was already blowing up from everybody congratulating me and stuff. Um, but everybody's excited. There will be a lot of people coming to the game this weekend, um, so it should be a lot of fun. That's great. What, what is the, what's the reaction been from your teammates? Yeah, they're excited for him, man. You know, there's been a lot of guys that, you know, kind of talked to me throughout the year, kind of wanted to see me play. Um, and so, you know, it should be a lot of fun to get out there with those guys and, you know, just to play with, you know, the receivers we got, the weapons we have, and, you know, the, the running backs we have, the line we have. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and I feel like I've, from just from sitting back and watching all year, I think I've learned a lot. Um, so I'm excited to go out there and see what I can do. One of the things we've heard is that Taylor Heineke specifically said <clears throat> Sam should get this start. He, he's worked for it. Have you spoken with him and kind of what to expect and, and what he's meant for your development? Yeah, Taylor's been awesome. Um, and, and I know there's a lot of dialogue. I don't really know all those conversations that were had. Um, but Taylor's been awesome to me, uh, super supportive. And both him and Carson um, have done a, done a really good job. I'm just so appreciative to have two veteran guys that, you know, both were playing at some point throughout this season. It's been, been an up and down year for both those guys. Um, and they both have just been willing to help me the whole year. Um, even when they were starting, they were – always trying to give me pointers and things that they saw they would they would tell me and just to help me out um, so I'm just so thankful to have guys like Taylor and Carson in the room this league is about winning games and it, it's a cutthroat business mm-hmm. and even when you were the backup I can't imagine you were getting a lot of work with the ones mm-hmm. what I mean it's two days but what's it been like being the starting quarterback in practice all right yeah are you enjoying it? Is it just mm-hmm. so different? What's it like? Yeah, well, it is a lot different than, you know, what I was doing um, the first 16 weeks. Um, but, you know, it's what I did in college. Um, and so it's pretty similar to that. But, you know, it's just been a lot of fun to get out there and just play football again. Uh, you know, I did a lot of kind of standing and watching um, this, this year in practice. And, you know, I just really it made me just miss playing football. Um, and so I get to, get to go out there and do that again. And, you know, I just try to take advantage of the practice time that I have because, like you said, it's not a lot. Um, and I'm throwing to a lot of those guys for really the first time. Um, and so just try to make the most of it and just try to get as good, good as, you know, feel as good about it as I can going into Sunday. What's it like throwing a Terry, throwing a mm-hmm. Curtis, throwing a John? Guys yeah. That you probably haven't gotten a ton of work with. Yeah, like you said, I haven't gotten a ton of work with those guys, um, but they're all really good. I've been, you know, watching them every day since I got here. Um, so even though I haven't thrown to them, I feel like I have a good sense for what they like to do and for timing. Um, and, you know, I'm just excited to get out there on the field with those guys and just, just going to try to do the best I can to get the ball out and give those guys a chance. Scouting report, live arm, big-time athlete. How do you balance in your first ever NFL start, oh, by the way, against Micah Parsons and the Dallas Cowboys, your ability to run and evade pressure with the need at times to stay in the pocket and make mm-hmm. throws? Yeah, I'm just going to try to feel it out the best I can. Um, and. When the opportunities come to, you know, get out and run a little bit, um, if, if the opportunity presents itself, then I, I, I'm more than capable of doing so. Um, so it's, it's kind of a play-by-play thing, um, and we'll just kind of see how the game goes. What's the work week been like with Scott Turner, game planning? Yeah, um, a lot different. You know, usually in meetings I, I really don't say a whole lot, um, and he kind of is just really having conversations with whoever's going to play that week. And so this is really my first week of having those conversations about the game plan with him. Um, and, and he's been awesome to work with. Um, it's, he's very easy to communicate with, so you know I think we put some good stuff together. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. At, at Carolina, kind of over and over, mm-hmm. you proved that you were ready for the moment. There, there wasn't a moment that was too big for you in Chapel mm-hmm. Hill, right? Now, now you're doing it at an NFL level. Are you ready for the moment? 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to be as ready as I can be. Um, obviously, I have no idea how the, how the game's going to go on Sunday, but, you know, I feel very confident in my abilities. Um, you know, I'm confident in my team. I'm confident in the game plan. Um, and I'm going to tr try to do everything I can to, to give my team a chance to win. You know, I'm not, you know, obviously, you know, the situation is what it is, and everyone knows we're not, we're not going to the playoffs this year. But, you know, it's still an NFL game, and still everyone's, this is what everyone's worked for the whole entire life. And we're not going to take this game for granted, and we're going to try to go out there and win a game. Last one for me. Very few people get this opportunity. Mm -hmm. What does the opportunity mean for you? Yeah, it, it means the world to me. I know, you know, this is, you know, I'm very lucky and just so truly blessed um, to be in the position I'm in. And like you said, not not very many guys get the opportunity to start a game in the NFL. Um, and, and I know that. I'm not going to take it for granted. I'm just going to try to go out there and just try to do the best I can, try to give my team a chance to win. I think the main thing is try not to put too much pressure on yourself. Um, obviously, it is a big deal starting a game in the NFL, but I'm just going to try to go out there, take it one play at a time, just be myself. Thanks very much. Sir. Cool. Uh, yes, sir. Are still no steak? Yeah, no, I'm not doing steak yet. All right, so you made it your whole – what was your rookie dinner like? What did you get, chicken? Yep. At, uh, we, we always always go over there to uh, DC, DC Prime. Prime. Yep, and always get – they got some chicken over there. I'm so. sure, I, everything there is good. I'm sure it the is. chicken's good, It's too. real good. Are, no doubt. Have guys stopped giving you a hard time about that? Yeah, it was kind of – when people first find out, it was it was a big thing, but, you know, it kind of fades off. Most things do. Thank yes, you, man. Good luck. Yeah, thank you.